and mirrors are fine uh, but again you're supposed to fix it at all the time so here I have left side there is this is for the left mirror and this is for the right mirrors so here is going to the left out this is more to the right okay so I'm fixing the left mirrors to the left out you know top and bottom you know goes up and down and when I'm finished I'll change it to the right and I'll go to the right mirrors as you can see when I put it down a little bit down because we're gonna do most of the parking on the right side so and you can see the uh, uh, curb so again uh, if you want to use the acronym you can use the SMS is like a you know first you fix your seat then the three mirrors so one to the left and middle one you want to hold in your two hand the behind car is supposed to be in the middle of the mirrors so so I know I say um, Akram as a uh, SMS what mean what that means is sit then the three mirrors then the sit belt okay all right so you just wait for the instruction to get out in the traffic so again we use a five format uh, you know first we gotta change the gear signal wheel look mirror look back okay we're gonna use that same format so I'm changing a gear signal one to the left look at the mirrors move your shoulder to the left and slowly put the gas okay. so again if you're driving straight it should be less than 25 so this is a regular stop sign you should stop twice so first you stop you look right and left for pedestrian. If you don't see anyone, lean forward. Let's stop here again. Look for the traffic. If you don't see any traffic, let's go. Again, when you're driving straight, uh, you should be less than 25. So again, I usually recommend to drive 22 to 23 because as soon as you hit 25 and over, guess what? You fail the exam. Um, again, they're very fair. Uh, they don't want to trick you or anything like that. So again, and they're reasonable. Okay. Uh, a lot of people say, you know, if they're hard or easy, you know, it's not hard or easy. They're just a fair game. Okay. Okay. We're going to make a right turn again. So you're going to stop once again, look right and left. I don't see anyone here. Let's lean forward. Let's look for the right and left. No, I don't see anybody here. Here I'm turning, okay? Uh, this is a two-way street. You don't see any yellow line, guys. So you wanna be more to the right side because again, you, don't, you want another car to pass by as well. All right, we're gonna make a left turn. Again, when you're making a turn, you should be an L-shaped turn, okay? Not a, you know, short turn or white turn. So when you're turning, it should be L-shaped turn, guys. Okay, uh, this is a stop sign. Again, this is a regular stop sign. You have to stop twice. Let me just stop another time. Let's stop here. Again, this is one way. And it's coming from the right, so right is clear. Nobody's here. Let's go. Again, as you can see, you know, I'm keep using a hand over hand technique. It's much easier for you to when you're making a right turn or left turn, and you know it's easy for you. To